Hey, this is Brian again here. If you remember, some time back I did a video on using rare earth magnets. Uh, I call them neodymium magnets. That's what they're commercially known as. Uh, they're the strongest magnets in the world, uh, size for size and pound for pound. Uh, but I did a little video showing how to use the little small tiny ones to put on the end of your dipstick, your metal dipsticks, uh, in your uh, small engines to uh, help clean the engine oil. There has been uh, technology out there, or uh, gadgets, if you will, for quite a few years um, that adapt these neodymium magnets to your car oil filters. I think one of the first companies that came out was called Filter Mag, uh, and I bought one. And there's a bunch of knockoffs now um, that that uh, make those commercially, but uh, effectively, what it is, it, it's using these powerful magnets to supercharge. Uh, or make your in uh, oil filter perform that much better as far as trapping metal metal particles and uh, that sort of thing. Uh, knowing that the uh, filter media in oil filters uh, varies from manufacturer to manufacturer. Some of them are really cheap paper. Some of them are um, uh, like a cotton fiber with a wire mesh type of media, and then others use a synthetic media for ultra high mileage. Um, for example, Mobile One and a number of others uh, that I use are 15,000 mile oil filters um, that uh, that you know are considered ultra premiums. But uh, I thought to myself, how could I make uh, my own uh, filter magnet uh, to take on and off of my oil filters? Well, I certainly could buy the neodymium magnets and just slap them on the oil filter one at a time and take them off one at a time. But I thought, you know, how could I make a little uh, little attachment that has a series of these magnets uh, to boost the power, much like the commercial version. So what I did is I bought the little neodymium magnets, uh, bought the little round ones. I get mine from uh, uh, Northern Tool and Equipment. Seem, they seem to have the best prices on them. And uh, this one right here, as you see, I don't know if you can see, there's three of them in there. Three of those more powerful ones. And this looks like duct tape, but it's not duct tape, and it's not electrical tape. What this is, is quick fix tape. Uh, and what this is, this is a black looking tape that you, that I've gotten from an auto parts store. This stuff is magnificent. Uh, it's this, like this super tacky. Um, it's actually used in cars to repair uh, blown water lines and blown uh, fuel lines and that sort of thing temporarily. Um, the cool thing about this is, um, it's self-sealing repair tape. It is waterproof, permanent seal. It's uh, resistant to minus 65 degrees Fahrenheit up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, obviously, engine oil doesn't get that hot. You know, about the hottest engine oil gets is about 250 degrees, uh, plus or minus some. I'm sure there's automotive experts out there that would be able to tell me uh, better, but... Uh, that's the general range. You're not looking at generally anything over 500 degrees. Uh, your engine oil is going to fail uh, generally at that point if it's uh, that hot down in the oil pan. Uh, you certainly want, wouldn't want to put this tape anywhere near a catalytic converter because uh, that gets up, uh, you know, seven, eight, nine hundred 900 degrees in, in some vehicles. Um, I wouldn't put it near any exhaust manifold, but your oil filter should be plenty far away uh, from any temperatures of that type. But... Um, and it's also resistant to chemicals, so gas, oil, transmission fluid, uh, radi radiator fluid, that sort of thing it should be okay with. Um, so anyway, basically, basically what I did is uh, I took those um, neodymium magnets and I spaced them out. And you, you might want to say, why didn't you put them right next to each other? Well, these uh, magnets uh, obviously are very strong, and when they get next to each other, they're even more attractive. The problem with that is with this particular tape, this stuff seals itself watertight. Well, if this magnet folds over on itself, in other words, they touch each other, the tape sticks to each other, and it's gum, this thing just turns into a ball. Uh, but spaced out like this accordingly, um, you can just uh, take your metal oil filter. Now, some of y'all have canister, a replace, where basically you have a canister, a permanent canister on your engine, and basically you replace the inside media. My uh, Toyota SUV is that way. Uh, my Honda uses the standard, and all you do is you'll just take this, um, got to do this one-handed, 
got to just take this and you're going to drape this magnet attachment here over your oil filter. And I left a little tab on there so I can just pull it right off without fighting these magnets too hard. Uh, pulling on these magnets, you know, it's, it's, you're pulling with some strength. These things are, are not uh, the weakest things, as I said. So I use a little tab right there, and I just pull it off whenever I need to change the oil filter. And uh, there's three magnets on this one space. You can do four, you can do eight, and you can do as many as you want to, I guess. Um, but effectively what it does, it magnetizes the uh, inside of that oil filter to trap more metal particles. And, um, you know, to what extent it boosts your the effectiveness of your uh, uh, oil filter, I mean, who's to say? The ultra mileage, uh, ultra high mile, 15,000, 10,000 mile oil filters obviously do a pretty good job. But hey, you know, for about eight bucks, what does it hurt? You know, um, just a warning here, these magnets don't get them near anything like a computer, don't get them anything near any sensitive electronics, and don't get them anywhere near your credit cards or anything with a magnet strip on it because uh, it'll wipe it clean. So anyway, another tip I'd have for you, uh, remember to subscribe to my channel.